Hello everyone. Uh, this lesson is for grade two. Um, this is for the uh, the grade two for the uh, learning support that uh, you know I'm going to actually show you the uh, the short video clip how you know actually we have done in uh, this week since we actually the uh, students you know come back to the school reopening and then you know uh, we actually started you know working on the uh, the spring project okay. Uh, and I actually ask you know, students actually you know, start you know investigating and, and um, a little more in you know, examining the uh, the types of you know flower is called the you know, daffodil. As you see on my you know, desk in you know, a laptop, okay, you probably see the a bunch of you know flowers, right? And it's you know yellow and then a green uh, of the you know, stems and leaves, okay? That is called the the daffodil flowers, okay? So basically, you know, daffodils are the you know, most attractive flowers that blossom during a spring season, most like in you know, early spring season. So basically, you know, a lot of you know farmers, you know, they um, sow the seeds on the you know, ground around the uh, the fall, and then fall, and then you know, uh, and then following day, uh, following years, and then you know, they start actually seeing you know, blooming flowers. So basically, it's uh, when people actually talk about, oh, this is in you know, a time of in you know, early spring season, and you know when you actually see the you know, daffodil flower, that is the uh, the sign of early spring time. Okay, so uh, you gonna actually see a uh, come a little bit in you know, a wide in you know, varieties and the uh, the beautiful in you know, daffodils flower, and uh, you are going to actually you know, observe in a very detail. Okay, as you see this one, you know, uh, how many petals do you see in this flower then? Because, you know, in flowers, you know, there are many different sizes of, you know, petals, okay? And the, uh, how many petals or different sizes and shapes, you know, remember the, under the elements of art, we practice. So, uh, that's how we are going to actually you know, practice as well too. So, take a look at the uh, petal. How many petals in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, mostly in you know, a daffodil has in you know, a six petals in total. And then the one action interesting the uh, chord area, okay? Kind of a bell shape, okay? A little more in you know, a collision. And then a little in you know, a long stems with the a little bit of long leaves coming out. Okay, that is uh, just a typical in you know, a daffodils, you know, as you see on the field. All right, sometimes you see the uh, white daffodil flowers, you know, as well. Um, there are most likely you know, two colors, you know, yellow and white. But you know, uh, I would say you pretty much actually see most of the action daffodils in a you know, yellow outside on the field. Then, okay. So this is what we are going to you know, study in you know, a daffodil flowers and take a look at the you know, shape of the you know, petals. Okay, each petal has a little bit in you know, a curvy kind of oval shape, right? And uh, this is how we are going to actually practice in a draw too. And also interesting the uh, the center as well. Okay. So uh, those are the actually the things that we are going to you know, study today. So I'm going to give you the uh, manual guidelines, which actually uh, students, all students actually receive the uh, manual guidelines. And then uh, you are going to actually take a look at too. Okay. So here. All right. This is the uh, the uh, manual guidelines that you see on my video clip. Okay, so uh, I bet that you, know, you re always remember from my you know art class. Whenever I give you you know paper, I ask you always you know divide it in half, right? So here is you know paper. It could be a four size. It's okay. I want you to you know divide it in vertical directions. Okay and then horizontal directions, okay? Then flatten out, okay? And this is gonna be your manual guidelines, okay? So first, what you are going to do, you have to think about, I wanna actually you know, a little you know, zoom in, think about the, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, the circle that you know, we are going to draw, okay? So it's gonna be a very important part you know, as you draw, okay? And then uh, I'm going to show you how maybe uh, you can do a little bit you know, more easily, okay? So uh, just you know, follow this in you know, guidelines, you know, by and uh, looking at the you know, video, it's going to be easier to you. So draw the uh, light circle. When you see the circle, you know the circle is not you know 
perpendicular in a straight. It's a little more kind of a slanted. So I want to actually draw in here in the this sections, and then slightly actually draw the inner circle, but a little inner tilted and slanted here down below a little bit. Okay, not all the way in a high, close to, but just like this much. Okay, so I'm gonna actually draw the one circle. Just like that, okay. Then after that, you know, draw the uh, the wiggly kind of edges, okay. So I'm gonna you know draw the you know, wiggly edges, just like that, okay. All right. Then you know, add a little bit in a small bell, right. So that's kind of a cup. So, but make sure you know you have to you know, keep this in a line. And then please you know, take a look, okay, how I'm going to draw, okay? Try to a little bit, you know, tilt it, okay? So I'm going to draw a little bit, kind of a small bell, just like that, okay? Yes, okay. So uh, you can actually erase your circle if you want to, or, you know, but just add a little, you know, small bell in it, okay? All right, the next step, you know, you need to, you know, draw the you know, three petals. So I'm going to draw the three petals, okay? One, two, three directions. And then you're gonna follow it then, okay? So I'm gonna draw the uh, three petal. Try to make sure uh, a little bit in a draw bigger. Then another one, okay? Okay, kind of a U shape, but a little kind of a curve on the in, uh, in the center. Then be something like that. Okay, then yeah, once you finish, you're gonna uh, draw another additional, you know, three more, you know, petals behind. Think about behind. This is behind, right? Kind of overlapping. So I'm gonna draw one more petals, a little bit behind, okay? And then behind. So you're probably not gonna see uh, all detail in the bottom, but you are going to actually show a little bit up here then. All right? And then. Another leaves, right? Oh, I'm sorry, petals, just like that. Okay. So basically, I told you, you know, six petals. It's gonna be on the you know decorative flower. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you get actually you know six totals, right? Okay, good. So now you know once you finish the you know, all six petals in, right? Now it's time to you know draw the and the stem. Okay. So try to you know flow the you know stem, not too thin, but a little bit, slightly a bit thicker. Okay, all the way down. Okay, so once you finish, okay, then in here in the guidelines, you know, you have to you know, draw the you know, two leaves. So on my here, I'm gonna actually draw the you know, uh, two leaves down here then. So I'm gonna draw one. Another one, kind of overlapping, so you don't have to you know, draw an entire line, but maybe something like that, okay? So I use a marker, but you know, you need to actually start with a pencil and then erase all the you know, uh, lines and these lines, okay? Then you know, you can create some sort of like a, what, the grass lines, if you want to, just like that, or little worms, you know, crawling down too, okay? Or either kind of a little, you know, small bug, like a ladybug, you know, that's okay too. Or, and you know, I draw some a little bit, you know, clouds on the sky, okay? Or maybe the, uh, the sun, if you want to draw the uh, sun, you know, you can do that too, okay? So this is my actually, you know, uh, 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 complete set of an you know, outline of, you know, decorative flowers, okay? So uh, I hope you enjoy. And then in the next lesson is that I'm gonna show you how to actually you know, color it then, okay? Uh, today, you know, we students actually studied in you know, a coloring in class. So, you know, for the, the next you know, video segment, then I'm gonna show you how to you actually complete using the uh, color. Make sure that you have to use oil pastel, okay? Oil pastel, crayons, and pastel watercolor. But, you know, try to, you know, prepare the you know, oil pastel would be actually a good way to do. Okay, because you know we need to uh, we need to actually you know, color blending by using old pastel, and I, uh, you will tell you know how actually it's gonna be a nice and a beautiful once you actually color the blends all together. Okay, so I hope you enjoy, and then you know I see you next time. Thank you.